Tonight could really be telling, as voters could see for the first time how or if Harris distances herself from President Biden when it comes to policy. News Nation's Alicia Nieves joins us now. Alicia, we watched that video. We heard her campaign speech of sorts with Mr. Biden. But President Trump has been busy with appearance after appearance, staying in front of voters. What about messaging and his hammering on uh, Ms. Harris has, has changed to gain their vote? Well, good morning, Nick. I mean, the economy and inflation consistently has been just a major issue for voters, right? And at his second press conference in just as many weeks, uh, Donald Trump focusing on pocketbook issues as part of kind of this broad economic agenda that he rolled out this week. Uh, in this agenda, he is focused on hitting home inflation pains that a lot of Americans are feeling still while surrounding uh, you know, himself at that press conference with groceries at that Bedminster news conference. He pointed out costs, the things, things that cost a lot more uh, now than when he was president. He says uh, that he would focus on bringing down energy costs by drilling for more oil and natural gas, tackling inflation more aggressively than we've seen over the last couple of years, lowering taxes, and saving Social Security and Medicare. The former president also painting this broad picture while offering a few specific details on how he's going to achieve those goals. Grocery prices have skyrocketed. Cereals are up 26 percent. Bread is up 24 percent. Butter is up 37 percent. Baby formula is up 30 percent. Flour is up 38 percent. And eggs are up 46 percent. And many items are up at much higher rates than that. Yeah, tomorrow, Mr. Trump hits an all-important swing state of Pennsylvania where he'll hold a rally in Wilkes-Barre. And you can expect him to respond to what Vice President Harris has to say about her economic plan, that, of course, being rolled out later today. In addition to flight, fighting inflation, he'll also focus on border issues that are typically top of mind for voters, specifically kind of in that region of the country. Uh, Trump is very aware of, kind of knows how to tap into that voter base. He's been very popular in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, going there more often than other parts in the state. And that's for Really good reason. Wilkes-Barre is part of Luzerne County, which has been critical and certainly was critical uh, in the battleground state for Trump in 2016. That's part of what helped flip the state for him. Nick, with just 81 days to the election and three days uh, to the DNC, you can expect we're going to hear a lot from former President Trump this week. The theme, of course, being ec the economy and inflation. And trying to save everyday people money at the kitchen table. Alicia yes. Nieves, thank you so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.